You are Sahaja Yogi, you can do anything. The train will wait for you. So, they don't want to miss any moment. They understand the importance of every moment you can imagine. What you need is sincerity to yourself. Now you have to put your both feet away from each other and have a very pleasant feeling about yourself. Prasanna bhavet. Prasanna chit. Don't be angry with yourself, with anyone, just be prasanna. What a nice word we have in Sanskrit. Prasanna. Put both the feet away from each other like this and have a very nice feeling about yourself, very pleasant feeling. First we'll tell you what chakras are to be touched and how to raise your kundalini yourself. But later on you don't have to worry, later on it's very simple. He will show you how to raise your own kundalini. You have anything? left hand towards me like this. That is for absorbing the energy or for expression of your desire because left side is the power of desire and the right is the power of action. So put your left hand towards me like this. Expression of your desire to have your self-realization. Take your right hand on your heart. As I told you in the heart is reflected the God Almighty as spirit. If you become the spirit, you become your own master. So now you take down your right hand, we are working only on the left hand side. On the left hand side of your abdomen, on the upper part, press it hard. This is the center of your master. Can you hear me now? So now, if you are the spirit, you become your own master. So you put your right hand, upper portion of your abdomen, on the left hand side. And this is the center 
of your master. Who is making the noise? They are able to hear me? No? No, it's quite loud. Don't you hear me? All right, thank you. Now, take down your hand in the low portion of your abdomen on the left hand side. This is the center of pure knowledge. That is what works on your nerves, on your central nervous system is manifested by this center of Swadhishtha. Again you raise your right hand in the upper portion of your abdomen. on the left hand side, then again you will have to raise your hand on your heart. Then raise your hand in the corner of your neck and shoulder and turn your head to your right. This is the center you catch when you feel guilty and you develop horrible diseases like spondylitis or maybe angina. So now please put your right hand on top of your forehead and bend your head. Here you have to forgive everyone. Without thinking about whom you are. Take back your right hand on the back side of your head. You see the agya, front agya and the back agya. If you know the optic flow, press it on both the sides. This is just the center because you feel guilty. Ask forgiveness from the divine power. Push back your head. Now, stretch your hand fully and put the center of your palm on top of the fontanelle bone area, the dal, which was a soft bone in your child. Put down your head as far as possible. Now press it hard, push back your fingers. And press it hard and move your scalp. Slowly, seven times clockwise. That's all we have to do. At the very outset, there are three conditions. First is that you all should feel fully confident that you are going to get your self-realization. That you are going to get your self-realization. Can you hear me now? Fully confident. Secondly, Can you fix it? Second condition is that you should not feel guilty at all about anything. As Indians don't feel so much guilty as the Westerners. It's a good idea not to feel guilty.
Don't listen to anybody who tells you this is wrong, you are like that, you are like that, nothing of the kind. Nobody has business to judge you. So please don't feel guilty, very important. And the third condition is that you have to forgive everyone. Many of you will say that's difficult, which is wrong. As I told you yesterday, whether you forgive or don't forgive, you don't do anything. So, by not forgiving, only we play into wrong hands. So just without thinking about whom you have to forgive or whom you have to remember, try just to say, in general, I forgive everyone. You feel much lighter, just to say that. Because a myth, you are living with a myth. Can you hear me now? I can. Can you hear me that side? Back side, do you hear me? your eyes. You can take out your spectacles because you should not open your eyes till I tell you. Please take out your spectacles. If there's anything tight on your neck or in your… on your face, please. If you have anything… what's the matter? If you have anything, I have to just go on to it, that's why just go. Anything on your neck or on your waist, something very tight, you can. If you have any tavis or anything, please remove it. It's not very good. Or some mala given by some guru or something, please remove it. Because you have not come here to enslave yourself to anyone become absolutely free. So now we close our eyes, all of us. Please close your eyes. Put both the feet on the mother earth. Stay, don't forget that. You have to put both the feet, yes. Now, close your eyes fully, don't open them. Now put the left hand towards me on your lap, and right hand on your heart, right hand on your heart. Now left hand open towards me, open. Keep it open towards me. You can keep it in your… yeah. Now, in the heart resides the spirit. Ask me a question three times. Mother, am I the spirit? It's a very fundamental question. Without any definition, please ask this question in your heart three times. Mother, am I the spirit? That's a fact. You are the spirit. That's the truth about you. Now, take down your right hand in the upper portion of your abdomen. Now be prasanna jiti, you should not be overly serious, there's nothing serious, you see. Must understand, you should be prasanna jiti. Forget your past. Now, here you have to ask another question three times. Mother, Am I my own master? Ask this question three times. Am I my own guru? The center is created by the Sadgurus for you to establish yourself. Now, 
take down your right hand in the lower portion of your abdomen on the left hand side. I cannot force pure knowledge on you. Rest is all avidya, this is vidya. Vidya where it is vidya is knowledge. So you have to ask six times, Mother, please may I have pure knowledge. When you ask for pure knowledge, your Kundalini starts rising and now we have to nourish our upper centers with our self-confidence. So now raise your right hand in the upper portion of your abdomen, on the left hand side. And here with full confidence you have to say ten times, Mother, I am my own master. Please say it with full confidence. Don't doubt yourself. You are your master. Please put your left hand towards me. Towards me. Many people are not having left hand towards me. I have already told you that the truth about you is that you are not this body, this mind, these emotions, these conditionings, this ego, but you are the pure spirit. So please now raise your right hand on your heart. And here, with full confidence you have to say, Mother, I am the pure spirit. Mother, I am the Shuddha Atma. Say it with full confidence. Now, raise a little bit properly. You see, it should not be very low also. Raise it properly. As if raising your heart. Raise it. This all-pervading power is the power of love, is the ocean of knowledge, ocean of bliss and compassion. But above all, it is the ocean of forgiveness and whatever you think you have done wrong can be easily dissolved in this great ocean. So please raise your right hand in the corner of your neck and your shoulder. I push it backward. Here you have to say sixteen times, Mother, I am not guilty. Say it sixteen times please. Mother, I am nirdosh. I am absolutely nirdosh. I have already told you that whether you forgive or don't forgive, you don't do anything. It's a myth. But when you don't forgive, then you play into wrong hands.
and torture yourself, while the person who has tortured you is quite happy. So now, raise your right hand on your forehead across and put down your head. Fully put down your head and here, You have to say from your heart, not how many times. If you don't say it, I cannot make your Kundalini pass through this constricted Agya Chakra. So please, all of you should say, Mother, I forgive everyone in general, not thinking about anyone in particular, please. Now, take back your hand on the back side of your head. Push back your head as far as possible without feeling guilty. Without counting your mistakes, just for your satisfaction. You have to say, O oh Divine Power, please forgive me if I have done anything wrong. O oh Brahma Chaitanya, please forgive me if I have done anything wrong, knowingly or unknowingly. This you have to say in your heart, not how many times. Now, stretch your right hand, put the center of your palm of right hand on top of the fontanel bone area which was a soft bone in your childhood. Push back your fingers as far as possible. Put down your head as far as possible. Here again, I cannot force self-realization on you. So you have to ask for it. Move your scalp seven times clockwise, saying, Mother, please give me my Self-realization, seven times, please. Don't move the hand so much as the scalp, please press it hard. Push back your fingers. First is, unless you push back fingers, there won't be any pressure. Now take down your hands, please. Put both the hands towards me. Now watch me without thinking. Now put your right hand towards me and bend your head and see for yourself. Don't watch others, watch yourself. See if there's a cool breeze coming out of your fontanel bone area. See if there's a cool breeze coming out of your fontanel bone area.
there might be a hot breeze also if you have not forgiven specially then the hot breeze might be there so now you forgive now take your left hand towards me like this again put down your head not on top but away from it some people get it very far also try to see if there is a cool breeze or a hot breeze coming out of your head on the fontanel not very far backward or forward but on the fontanel on the talu all right again put your right hand towards me ha ah. bend your head bend your head that's it now i have to tell you how to give yourself the kavach to protect yourself is very important and how to raise your kundalini is very important very simple we will show you also put your left hand like this in front of you and the right hand you have to move the left hand goes straight so you have to i'll just show you first of all like this it goes up on to your head and here you give it one knot now again we start now properly we start it from here now start moving your left hand upward for fixing up your kundalini put your hand up and give it one knot then again the second one give it the second knot third knot you have to give three times now again do it please one two and three done now the kavach you have to take for your protection every morning when you go out and before sleeping you should put your attention here and sleep up put the left hand towards me like this it is 3:30 and so 3 and a half coils so how do you give kavach put left hand towards me towards the photograph put the right hand like this i'll show you first then raise it like this bring it down this is half then again you take it back this is one again you take it up is again you take it back is two again you take it like this again you bring it back is three and now you take it back only half way so three and a half times this is bandhan is the kavach kavach of protection also lots of things you learn how to use this power from your hand now all those who have felt cool or hot breeze in their hands or out of food, fontaine in bonelia please raise your both hands all those who have felt please raise both your hands you have a little problem of liver but it will work out it's not bad <laughs> may god bless you all so madras should become now mother ras means all the mother is finished and achieve that state may god bless you all again and again i tell be humble and come to the center there are some very good sajogis in the center they'll all tell you everything with very loving way but please come and pay attention to yourself 
and know everything, next year I will come again to Madras. May God bless you.